Hey YouTube, this is Mandy aka Army Wife Revised. Um, it's been a while since I have made a video because there's been a lot going on. Um, so just kind of do a recap. Um, I had lap band surgery um, eight years ago. It was removed in June um, due to complications uh, after I had my baby. So moving on, um, I had the uh, insurance lady from my doctor file to for the VSG and she didn't do it <laughs> and they, so then she tried to tell me that I got denied which was not true then I went to try to go see another doctor I was in the middle of the process of that and um, a couple of weeks ago I was getting ready to leave to go home to North Carolina for two weeks and where my port site was where they removed the port from my lap band for some reason where the, the it's a bigger incision right on the end of it it popped open and started bleeding and oozing some not so pleasant stuff. So then I called my um, primary and then they transferred me to the doctor's, I don't know what you would call him, but um, who's in charge of the bariatric center there and you know, to find out, you know, do I need antibiotics? What is it? Blah, blah, blah. So they prescribed me an antibiotic that was on my anniversary and the day of my anniversary I had to go to a funeral. Really sucked. Um, but, uh, Anyway, so then this whole debacle came about because I was transferring my care to another doctor. Um, and it was basically because their coordinator sucks balls and she um, wasn't doing her job. Anyway, so long, long story short, I've, since I was gone um, to North Carolina, they filed my paperwork. It got denied. Now, my other choice would be I could go to an Air Force base, which is two and a half hours from my house but I would have to go for every appointment two and a half hours away. Now, I know hardball Heather, or hard-boiled hard Heather, um, she's also a military wife, and, you know, she posted recently some videos about her struggles. That shit is real. Um, I have a, a almost one-year-old. I cannot drive her two and a half hours to an appointment, to go to an appointment, and then two and a half hours back home. It just is not realistic. So... I was talking to my husband about it, and I, you know, we are scheduled to move somewhere else in April of next year, and I could wait and try to do it at another MTF, but I'm so miserable in my life right now because of my weight, um, and I, I guess I never voiced my concerns to my husband before, so he and I had a conversation. I said, you know, it's a daily struggle just to clean up. You know what my daughter destroys in the house because every time I bend over, my oxygen gets cut off. And I mean, and that's and it's true. I mean, it's just stuff that people don't talk about. And then um, the other thing too, like um, Heather was talking about, um, you know, I was not. I, you know, I don't do my makeup. You know, I wasn't doing my hair. I mean, my hair was has always been about right down to here. And when I went home, I had eight inches cut off. So I had all my hair cut off, and it feels so much better. Got my eyebrows did. So now I'm like, I'm feeling like a human being. And he and I were talking about it while I was gone. And the only other option was to pay for it. And, um, because I didn't want to do the gastric bypass. Especially after having lap band. It's just, I mean, there's so much into it. But anyway, um, so the doctor that originally took out my lap band, they're trying to get certified for the center of excellence. And I like him. He's already operated on me. Um, he and I discussed it. He said I was a good candidate for the vertical sleeve gastrectomy because of my um, fat content in my body. Um, I'm 5'3". Um, since I've had my lap band out, I mean, I'm ashamed to say it, but I have gained 10 pounds um, because I can eat without throwing up. So, um, that surgeon is trying to, like I said, get, um, get approved for the Bariatric Center of Excellence. And they are doing a special for VSG for $5,600. Which, if you add up two plane tickets to Mexico, that would be about the same. If you add up to driving back and forth um, down to the coast of Mississippi, you know, that's a lot of gas for all those appointments. And then I still would have to have my, my mom or somebody fly up here to take care of my daughter while I was down there at the Keesler um, and whatnot. So, my husband, I guess, thought about it and he just basically said, you know, I'll pay for it. So then I was like, yay, and then I started having these feelings of guilt because, you know, now we're going to have to pay for it. I paid for my lap band eight years ago over $13,000. Uh, 
so but you know what I you know I want to be happy I want to be healthy for my daughter um, I want I don't want to be that mom that just sits there I want to be the mom that's running around on the field and granted I'm almost 38 years old and my dad started having heart attacks and stuff around my age and he died at 57 and I don't want that you know I want to be around I want to be happy I want to be a good mom I want to be a good wife um, and just like Heather said you know my husband comes and goes he is never I mean he's here sometimes but you know depending on what's going on he does go places and comes back um, and my family is 800 miles away his family is closer to us but they don't come visit I mean let's be real they don't come hang out at our house <laughs> you know and I've tried to make friends around here and um, we just moved here last year and we're moving again in April so what is it I don't want to wait till next summer I mean I'm gonna be huge but I mean I already am huge but I don't want to be any bigger and I want I'm tired of it so anyway that's the that's the update with that um, as far as vision of date and time um, I have two appointments of the five set up um, for October 21st and um, which I've had to make arrangements for um, my daughter because they said I couldn't bring her <laughs> So, I mean, she wouldn't be wanting to sit there anyway, and it'd be she'd be a hot mess and hollering and screaming, and her teeth are trying to come in and whatever. So, if that if that doesn't work out, then I'll have to wait to October 28th. And my husband said that if I can't get it worked out for the 21st, then he would just have to come home and take care of her for me. But anyway, so I'm really excited about that. And then um, they told me like with the holidays and stuff. The earliest vision they could imagine me being able to have surgery would be the very beginning of December. So he works the first and third Mondays of the month and then every Tuesday and that's all he operates. So I'm hoping it'll be towards the beginning of December versus the end of December. Because I, I want to, my, birth, my birthday's in February and I want to be cute for my birthday. And I was planning a girls trips with some of my friends that live in North Carolina to come down here so we can go to New Orleans. So, um, yeah that's that and I'm really digging my haircut I cut eight inches off of it and I feel so much better even with my nappy curly hair popping out and I put some highlights in it myself because I'm just the bomb like that anyway so I'm just really happy I'm trying to be more optimistic and um, not so down and negative like I have been in my past videos but um, until I see a reality of this is really gonna work you know I'm just gonna still kind of not be too happy about it you know anyway um thank you guys for watching um thank you for the support um i'm still enjoying watching all of my old people that's been on there for many months now and finding some new people and hopefully i can find some more people that would might would be closer um to my surgery date as well and um I just have felt really inspired by hard-boiled Heather because she is a military wife. And also, I don't know if some of you know it, but um, no one's stopping me but me, Gracie. Um, she's also a military wife. So, we rock. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks again. Bye.